All right, so I'm gonna show you how to make a quick loop with the MPC Beat Studio 2 inside of the MPC Beat program. Let's go. All right, so first thing you wanna do, load up the program here. Once we get that loaded up. One of the kits that I like to use is actually the Trap Soul and R&B. Uh, the Haze Kit is definitely one of those hot. One of my favorites. All right, and let's see here. So first thing, let's go ahead and make it loop a little bit longer. And then you can also shrink with this here. I know some of you are trying to figure that out, but that's how you actually uh, shrink the screen here, the playhead screen. So you're gonna hit back, right? Um, so let's see. So let's show you how to record. Like that. All right, so let's see what else we can add. We're gonna hit stop and you wanna backtrack a bit here. All right, so let's name that first. That's one of the things that's the most important thing about this program is to name each track and separate them. Even though you might have all the different sounds on one pads, I like to separate each track. Reason being is that when it's time to export, you have each stem or each MIDI so that you can put it in whatever DAW you want to use it in, whether it's FL Studios, Logic Pro X, like I like to use, Ableton, um, Reason, Cubase, whatever it is that you like to use. So we know that's the pad, right? And then you can click here and go to new. So let's see what we got next. Oh, I like that. All right, so let's try that. I'm gonna backtrack here, record, play. Stop that. Let's have them hi hat. So this is how you actually do your um your hi hat rolls and hats and your hi hats roll inside of the MPC beats. So what you can do is hold this note repeat and the hi hats. All right. So let me get that on the beat here for you now. So we go back and now we have a new track as we do as usual. So the name is Hi Hats, all right? So you hit record, hold note repeat, play. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of this one here. Oh, get rid of that. Borrow one of these, put here. Let's listen to that. All right, I like it. Let's move on. All right, all right. So we're gonna get to do a new track here again, and these are the. Like it. So let's move on. Then I had a snares. So we'll go ahead and had snare. Right. We're gonna add the snares. We're gonna back up. Record play. Sound good so far. All right, so go ahead and stop it here again. 
one of the next things you want to do actually is you can go in and lower your velocity of some of these hi hats here so they're not so So now we're getting somewhere. Now the next thing we want to have is a little bit of percussions here so it can actually bring the beat alive a bit. And then I'll actually show you how to export it. What I'm basically doing is just showing you the real basic of how to get your um, loops in and where you can find some of your um, sample packs that come with the program. All right, so we're gonna add some perks now and then I'm gonna show you how to um, actually export the midis. All right, so. All right, and we're gonna add that here. All right, so let's record that in. sounds good so far so let me show you let's say you want to add your own you know VST to your plugins that you have again you just want to add a new new track and then what you do is you want to click here where it says your plugin you can actually look in here and you could bring up all your VST plugins or whatever it is that you're using for now I'm just gonna use let's just use the uh, stock plugin that came with it here find a melody and put that together here real quick I think I found some pads that we can use let's check them out here let's see what it sounds like here all right let's hear it all together with a beat now all about having fun with it you know so I'm going to show you how to actually export what we've done here and uh, bring it into any DAW and rearrange and organize it the all right so I'm going to show you how you actually get the pattern you just made out of the MPC beats to your to whatever DAW you use okay so first thing you want to do is actually you can save and close the MPC app they're gonna need that and you wanna know if whatever doll you use whether it's logic or whatever it is that you use go ahead and get rid of that load a new software instrument and sort of the MPC beats now what you do is you're gonna click where it says right here file and you're gonna open up your project that you did right and right here here, let me just pull the drums out right here. Export audio or export MIDI. We'll just take the audio for now. Um, just to make things a little simpler, you want to click it. Once you click, once you click it here, it's going to go ahead and export the audio for you. And then you can go ahead and grab it and drop it there. And shorten this. And that's 
how you actually get the pattern or whatever you created out of the MPC beats onto whatever doll you're using. As I said, you can either take it out as a audio or a MIDI file. Either one uh, that you choose is really up to you and it depends on the project that you're doing. But yeah, that's how you actually can build a really quick loop inside of MPC beats with the MPC Studio 2 and then export it to whatever doll you use, rearrange it and organize and build whatever song you like. Um, I appreciate y'all took the time out to watch my video and everything. Um, please give us a thumbs up. It does help everybody else find this video. I know a lot of people are out there searching, trying to figure out how to work this machine. And I'm going to be posting quite a few more videos about this. Appreciate y'all. Peace. Thank you.